What's up, guys? We got a Honda Civic here. It has a buzzing sound every time to unlock or lock. This is a 2019 model. So check this out. You hear that? It's coming from right over here. So it, it is working right now, but uh, it's a bad actuator. Okay, so this actuator is bad here on a Honda Civic. So what we're gonna do here is um um we got a new part here this is the part here and uh we're gonna take this out of the bag this is what it looked like out of the bag come on So it's about 30 40 dollar piece so this is what it looked like it has this little string to it and uh the string has to come out of this neck here it's not supposed to be there so this is what it looked like okay so we're gonna replace this guy and uh very simple and easy um what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take off this wheel we're gonna look underneath we're gonna pop everything and then we're gonna go in the truck so what we're gonna do is we not even want to take the tire off right down here we have this little clip here so you need a tool like a fork looking tool just pop it open the clip fell all that on there i'll come i'll grab it i'll show you guys what it looked like and let's see if there's another one here i can't see because i'm just feeling everything so that's just one here let's see if this baby comes down and let's see if you can see from right here let's see if you can see if you have enough clearance here there you go okay there's two clips there's one more over here holding these two right here so there's two clips take them both off and after that what you want to do here is you see this what you want to do is you want to squeeze this guy so what we're going to do here is to get this old guy off you can push it from the inside or just from right here you can Yank this guy from right here. Flathead screwdriver will work better than this little guy. Okay, this thing is breaking, but it's not coming off. So it has tabs all around. That's all it has tabs all around. So what I did was I put the camera to the side. I went from right up here and you yank this little guy and this whole thing comes out and it does have a connector here. So you do need to remove this connector right here. So you squeeze on this tab and what you do here is you pull this connector off. I got my friend here helping me. He's going to hold this so I can hold it really good so it doesn't move. And I am going to pull this connector off. There you go, that connector comes off just like that. And that's it, now we're gonna go in the trunk. Okay, now inside the trunk, you see this little guy right here? This is what we're removing now, okay? You have a small little grommet here. This little grommet here. Just push it in. Just push the grommet in. It's hard to see, I know that. But there it is. And just squeeze it. Let this rubber go with it. There you go. And we need to remove this little guy. So, we're gonna go get our tool. We're gonna pry this guy down. Try not to break it. And all you need is to get, you need to take this string, the safety cable here, out of that. So it comes right out of it, just like that. So we're gonna reuse this. And this guy comes right out. Just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. 30, 40 all apart. And we're gonna take this little guy. Okay, we're gonna take this little guy. Stick this in. Okay, let's take this string in. And right now, since we're right here, that's, I'm sorry about the camera. So let's put the connector in. 
right now with one hand it's always difficult but if I could do it with the one hand you guys can do it fairly easily and simple just make sure you put this connector in if you don't it's not gonna work and after that remember how this was this was facing so this one has a this one has a notch here so you need to get that notch in first and once you get that notch in the string might bother you this is in this is all set and go uh this is what the clips look like so once you're done you put this cover back in and stick the clips right back in there and what we need to do here is we need to take the string and send it right through the hole and stick the grommet in just like it's supposed to be so remember i didn't even take out the wheel i just jacked up the car and that's it take your grommet stick it in make sure it's nice and firm so no water air gets to your trunk Go. I'm gonna fix it up a bit from the trunk end. Okay, but I don't need to do that. So let's stick this back in. And all I need to do is take my two clips, stick them in, and you just push the clips in. Okay, so we got a part left here where we grab this string, we stick this little good old piece back in the spot. And just stick this back in, bada bing, bada boom. And from here, you can unlock your trunk. This is all done and set. Let's try to unlock and lock. So my friend got his keys. There you go. Done, okay. Lock it. It's locked. Lock it. Lock it, only lock it. So we can't open it, you see that? Unlock it. And it unlocks, that's it. Thank you for watching. This thing feels too easy, okay? The car already has, how many miles the car has? 15, 20,000 miles, and this thing feels, so it's, this part feels very quick on these cars. Did a Honda Accord last week, but here's a part number on this guy. If you guys wanna buy this from the dealer, it's about under 40 bucks. There you go. TBA A02. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.